Hello everyone, welcome back to the Vanity Chair. It's Shay. I am so excited to talk to you guys today. It has been a hot minute. I think it's been about three weeks since I've had a chance to sit down and make a video because I got married. I'm so excited. I even wore my little Kiss the Bride shirt to celebrate, which is at Target, by the way. If you are a bride or if you have friends that are brides, they have a ton of cute ones. I have like three or four different shirts that have stuff to do with weddings. Anyways, side note, but um, today's just going to be a April favorites video. I know it is like May 16th already, but like I said, I've just been super busy. I got married. I went on my honeymoon and some other stuff happened that I'm going to share with you guys in this video, which is super exciting. So without further ado, let's just get started. We went and we got married. We went on our honeymoon and we decided when we came back <laughs> to pick up this little cutie pie. This is Rosie, everyone. So she's my first favorite this last month. She's so sweet. She's just like a big teddy bear. She's so cute. So um, depending on how she behaves, hopefully I can record this whole video today because she is a puppy and into everything. Newest addition to the family. She is a yellow lab, but I think she's like a dark yellow, so they call her a red. So that's why we decided to name her Rosie. All right, you guys, sorry if like the lighting changed, if I look different. It's really like an hour later now because I was playing outside with uh, Rosie trying to get her all tired so she would fall asleep, which doesn't look like it's even working. Don't you chew on my cords. But I'm just going to get started, and sorry if I'm like a hot mess in this video because it's just going to be hard with her, I think. But I really want to get this done for you guys. So, uh, my first favorite I actually meant to talk about last month. I've been using it for a while, and I totally forgot in that video. So this is the Texture Builder by Matrix. This is basically like a texture, messy finish spray to where you can spray it in your hair to give it some body without adding additional hairspray that's just going to weigh it down and make it feel kind of sticky and gross. And this stuff smells really good. And you just kind of like spray it in there. And then you just kind of like rough up your hair and it just brings it a little bit back to life. Especially like if you are getting off work and running home to get refreshed for the evening or something. I think this is a really good kind of thing to have. Just to kind of fluff up your hair. So I've been loving that because it doesn't add a bunch of weight like I said to your hair. But it does give it a little bit of hold to kind of mess it up. My next product is also a hair styling product. This one I love and it again smells so good. This one I bought for my wedding day because my hair holds curl already. I have wavy hair naturally so it holds a curl really well. But I knew I just wanted it to be perfect and hold all day long no matter what. So I wanted like a leave-in cream that I could put in before I even blow dried my hair. So that's what I got this for. So this one, it's just really lightweight which is why I think it's different and unique than other ones I've used because other ones you can kind of feel that you have something in your hair already when you go to start styling it. This one, it just feels like your hair is really smooth and silky, but it gives it additional hold, which I really like. It also adds um, uh, humidity resistance, it adds shine, reduces frizz. I'm just reading off all the things. All the It's a 10 products give you like 10 things that it does. Um, it's like a heat protectant, so it's just all of the things that you'll want to prep your hair with all wrapped into one product, which is really nice, and it smells good, and it's lightweight, so that's another good one, and I wanted to mention that. Next thing I wanted to talk about is a beauty blender. I talk about this every once in a while because I usually do use it for under eye concealer every once in a while, but I have been using this nonstop for foundation, concealer, powder under my eyes, like everything this month. So I just wanted to talk about this because I don't know if it's the time of year we're coming into where I'm not maybe as oily or something, but I've been loving using a damp sponge for all my makeup. It just makes your skin look so much more like skin and not really crepey. I don't know how to describe it. I feel like this makes my skin look more hydrated when I apply makeup with this sponge. And I just wanted to mention the little Real Techniques one because I had never used this one, but I uh, finally got a hold of it and I used it on a client the other day. I haven't used it on myself yet, but I used it on a client and it seemed like it worked literally the exact same, but it's like half the price. So you can find Real Techniques um, on Ulta.com, at Ulta obviously, and at Kohl's, I believe, as well. Next I want to talk about the Urban Decay Naked Skin One and Done, what is this technically called? Hybrid Complexion Perfector. So this is kind of like a BB cream, if you will. And it's kind of cool because it's a tube, but it has a pump too. So it's not like a squeezy. It has a pump, which is kind of nice. So what this is going to do for you is basically it's like a tinted moisturizer. So it's going to give you a little color, moisturize your skin. It also has SPF 20 in it. And this one, why they call it one and done, is because it's supposed to kind of like blur the skin of like fine lines, pores, that sort of thing as well, which I think it does. I really liked it. I wore this every day of my honeymoon so that I didn't have to wear makeup. I just wore this BB cream every day that I, well, I don't even think I wore makeup every day, but every day I put makeup on, this is the makeup I used. 
Again, I really like using this with the Beauty Blender. I feel like if I put it on with just my hands or a brush, it's very sheer, which some women might really like, but I wanted it to be just a little bit more coverage. It's still super light coverage, but you can kind of pack it on a little bit heavier with the Beauty Blender without it being cakey, once again, because the Beauty Blender is just so hydrating. So I've really been liking those. I feel like all my products I'm talking about are like in a tube like this this month, because so is my next one. But anyways, this is the Saint Tropez uh, self tan classic for the face. I have never used any of the Saint Tropez products. I hope I'm saying that right, Saint Tropez. It looks like Saint Tropez, but anyways. So um, basically, oh my gosh, it's just really hot in here. I'm sorry, guys. So basically, I just wanted to kind of try a self tanner for the face and try to match my neck and my face without wearing makeup. So I've been using this probably like a month and I really have been liking this. It's not breaking me out. It doesn't do anything weird. It just kind of leaves behind a little bit of a tan. What I do at night is I just mix it in with my nightly moisturizer and that's how I've been using it. And that way it's a little bit less um, potent. You know what I mean? Like it's not going to go on and you're going to have streaks. I just kind of swirl it in with my nightly moisturizer. Next, Squeezy Tube product. This is by Origins and I love this. This is like what I could not wait to tell you guys about. This is the Original Skin Retexturizing Mask with Rose Clay. So I don't know what has been up with my skin because it's not even been like I do have a few breakouts which is normal especially when like Aunt Flo comes to visit but my actual texture of my skin has been so like rough like I feel like it just looks like I'm wearing a pound of makeup as soon as I just put like one layer of foundation on it just looks like uneven and just like dry even though I'm exfoliating and moisturizing so I figured something like this that's retexturizing would be great and I just thought the price point was where it's at too this was only $26 which is amazing most of my masks from Sephora run more in like the $40, $50 range. So when I was just looking on Sephora.com and looking for masks to try out, when I saw the price, I was like, okay, that one has amazing reviews and it's only $26, bucks. i am going to try it. It makes your skin feel so soft, you guys. It doesn't smell uh, very strong, but it does smell good. It's kind of like a pink color. And what you do is you just smooth it all over your face. It's got rose clay in it, so that's what it is. It's like a scent of rose, which is why. <laughs> what? What? You're making mama a crazy lady. She's just rambling. You could be on my lap. Um, so anyways, yeah, I've just been using this um, maybe like twice a week, and I do notice it's helping with the texture of my skin. It's called Original Skin, so I think that's what it's supposed to do is just kind of make your skin feel more fresh and like smooth, like baby skin maybe. I don't know. I just love it. It smells good. It works good, and it's $26. Like, you can't beat that. Okay, so I have one more makeup product to tell you guys about and then two random ones. Thank you if you're still watching. I know I'm just like a rambling mess today. So these are so exciting. So a little backstory. If you are my age or older, you probably remember MAC Shade Sticks. They were amazing. They were basically like a twist up little crayon and they had a million colors of them, but they were awesome to wear just alone for like a quick eyeshadow look. They were like a cream eyeshadow stick or you could prime your eye with them, which is what I did. I wore Beijing Shade Stick every single day from the time I was like 15 until they discontinued it underneath my eyeshadow. It was just like a creamy tan shimmer color. So I would just prep my eye with that every day for eyeshadow. They would just grab the shadow and really make it pop. I don't know why they discontinued them to this day. So that was probably 10 years ago they discontinued them. I work at MAC now and to this day people still come in like asking for them or wondering if they're coming back. Well they finally got the hint a little bit I think MAC did and came out with them temporarily. They're only limited. I'm so sad. So I bought four already. I might buy more. They don't call them shade sticks anymore. Now they are called the Pro Longwear Waterproof Color Sticks. So to me they are the exact same thing but they dry a little faster. And I think that's because they are the Pro Longwear formula, so they're meant to last, these are meant to last 24 hours. So these are, just like I said, just like a shade stick was, they twist up, and they're just like a creamy pencil. Um, these, you have to work with very fast, because like I said, they do dry. I've been wearing them underneath my eyes a lot, and then buffing shadow on top, and I notice when I do like one side at a time, it works a lot easier than trying to put it on both sides and then go back in with the shadow because by the time I get to this eye, it's like not very blendable. It's already dry because they're amazing and they're just going to stay glued all day, but they dry very fast. So I got cream filled, which is this color right here. And I think this reminds me a lot of Beijing that I used to love. So that's why I needed that one. I'm probably going to buy a backup because I just love that color. This one I wore the other day. I got so many compliments because it's kind of like a funky color. I think I want to use this in a tutorial or something. It's called Madly Sunny. And it's like a chartreuse. Isn't that fun? And some of these are really shimmery. And some of these are just kind of like a satin. Some of them are matte. 
This last or this next one is called Iris Eyes. I'm so sorry. Rosie's sitting here chewing her bone on my hardwood floor, so I'm sure you can hear all of it. Um, this one's like a shimmery kind of blue silver gray color. So pretty. I think this would be really pretty for a smoky eye on a girl with brown eyes. Um, and then I got flat white, which is just perfect for um, a base. I wanted that to buff out under any color you want to really pop. It's going to be amazing. It's going to be basically like the NYX um, Jumbo Eye Pencil, but last way longer. Um, as far as the wear time, these are 24 hours. There's like 20, 20 plus shades to choose from. They are, I want to say $20, $22, somewhere in that range. Okay, so if you don't follow me on Instagram, you haven't seen my vacation um, honeymoon photos, but if you do, I've had a couple people ask where my hat was from, and I love this hat. I just recently got it. Um, Danny was teasing me. He's like, you're going to wear that hat because he's just not like a big floppy hat guy. But when we got to Mexico, everyone on the beach was wearing these kinds of hats. And he was like, okay, like, I see what you're doing. Like, sun protection, it looks cute. So I got this hat, and I kind of liked it because it was in between, like, a fedora and a big floppy hat, which is why I liked it. It's kind of laying funny because it was in my suitcase, kind of weird. But it was only $20. It's called um, the brand BP, and it's from Nordstrom. And I just love it. And I think it comes in black, too. And it's just so... Like floppy and cute and easy and I just literally lived in that the whole week on the beach because it protected from the sun, I didn't have to do my hair, it was just really cute with the humidity down there. My hair even today is a little frizzy but down there it was real frizzy so that was really helpful. And then last but not least, I just wanted to talk about my phone, you guys. I'm not one that spends a lot of money on phones and like technology and stuff. As you know, I spent all my money on makeup. So on our way home from Mexico, we had to go from uh, Cancun to Texas to LA to Sacramento. It was like such a long travel trip home. But anyways, um, we got into the LA airport and we had like 10 minutes before we had to get over to our other gate to catch our flight. So I was running into the bathroom. I set my purse on the um, like toilet paper holder because it was just a little clutch. And I go to turn, I was wearing that hat, so I went to hang my hat on the back of the bathroom stall and I hear this huge like plunk and I was just like no are you kidding me I turned around my whole entire purse was in the toilet of the airport bathroom like it was so disgusting if I hadn't have just been on my way home from like a week in tropical paradise I might have had like a mental breakdown but I was just in such high spirits and a good mood because of our vacation that I was just like you know what I haven't had my phone all week because I didn't have service I can live without a phone a couple more days whatever so anyways this is my old phone don't worry I like alcohol cleaned it to death but it was just like a crappy, I think this is like an iPhone 4S. It's so old. iPhone 5. I've had this forever. Like years and years and years and years and years. And it's just like so cracked and just crappy. And I just like was so due for a new phone. It was 16 gigs. It had no memory. Every time I had to take a picture, I had to delete another picture. It just was horrible. So um, I was in the store and I was trying to decide, do I want the new iPhone 6? S or do I want the 6S Plus which is huge and I literally stood there for probably 20 minutes just like playing with both of them in my hands and that's another reason I wanted to talk about it because I wanted to tell you guys my opinion get the 6S Plus that's what I got and I'm so excited I have tiny little hands so I was worried about like texting I'm gonna be honest that's what's annoying it's hard to text it's to hold this in your hand with one hand and text you feel like you're gonna drop it I've gotten a little more used to it now over the week but I mean, just look at the size difference. Like it's a huge difference. You feel like you're holding a computer in your hand. But the reason I absolutely love it is for the videos. Like if you watch YouTube, when I watch YouTube now, sorry about my dogs running around being crazy. <laughs> She's just so cute. You can't get mad at her though. She runs in and her little body's all flopping everywhere. Um, so like, let me just, I don't know if you'll even be able to tell on YouTube, but like, <clears throat> let me just pick one and show you guys. All right, Jaclyn Hill's new little highlight contour video, if it'll load. Hey guys, so for today's video, I'm this video is so good, by the way. Do you see like how huge that is? Contour, blush, Can you imagine watching that on this? Like it's so different. <laughs> I don't know if that translated well, but I just wanted to mention this because I love it, you guys. And it's 124 gigabytes. I am so excited. This other one was 16. Like, I couldn't fit anything in that one. Thank you guys for sticking with me through this whole video. I'm going to have a bunch of new videos coming out. And I'm just really excited for this time. So, I love you guys. Thanks so much for watching. And I will see you guys soon. Bye.